Hey there, Dan Stein here. This video is going to show you how to get a civil 3D surface into Revit 2024 or 2025 in this case and turn it into a topo solid. There's actually three different ways of doing this and different levels of accuracy. So I'm gonna share those with you here. Um, the process is fairly similar and the accuracy is about the same between the examples I'm going to show for previous versions of Revit using a topo surface. So if you follow these steps and pick one of the options, there will be different levels of accuracy, but generally speaking, the surface is going to be accurate and the contours will even match what's showing up here in Civil 3D. So the first option is the contours at the correct elevation. This is usually what architects receive from Civil and it's actually the least accurate, but let's go ahead and check that out. So this is a Civil 3D surface. I'm in Civil 3D and I can tell that this is a Civil 3D file because over here in the prospector, I can see that there's a named surface. If I hover over this thing in Civil 3D, you can see it says it's a tin surface. And by the way, this file that I'm using is one of the sample files that come with AutoCAD Civil 3D. So you could actually install the trial version of Civil 3D and check this out yourself. So I'm gonna, on the output tab, use the export Civil 3D drawing command. There's this big dialog and basically it's meant to essentially dumb down a Civil 3D file that's a smart object into plain AutoCAD elements. So I'm just gonna do the current drawing without sheets. This is gonna be um, I actually have already previously modified this. Normally it just says ACAD, so it's going to say ACAD dash and whatever your file name is. I'm going to call this ACAD dash contour dash. So it'll be contours and then there'll be a triangulated surface and then a third option is going to be published to BIM 360. So we hit OK. You see it's going to the My Documents folder. So it essentially just created this file. I'm, at, I'm currently in the civil CAD example file. I actually renamed that from the provided sample file. And then AutoCAD civil 3D just created this ACAD dash contour dash and then the same file name. And you can see the file size is quite different now that it's not a smart civil 3D file. And then if we were to open that file that was just created, and then like in Revit, you can hold the shift key in the center wheel button to flip up into 3D. So you can see that the contours are actually at the correct elevation. That one's at 54, this one's at 55, and if you spin around, you can see they're at the right elevation. Worth noting that they're also on a different layer so a topo minor, that'll be important later in Revit because there's a lot of other layers and lines on layers that we don't want to have any interactions with. So I'll close this contour file and then back here in Civil 3D, in the Civil 3D surface file, if I go to a 3D view here, you can see it turns into a triangulated surface. And this is much more accurate than the results that we will get with the contour only surface. And the reason for that is Revit will sample points along these triangulated edges. Whereas if it's a contour only file, it's only able to sample points along the contours and things happen in between the contours, like little ups and downs and spot elevations that the contour only version won't be able to pick up on. So I'm going to do the export here. And we'll call this triangulated and then hit export. And now that just created a file triangulated. Notice that the file size is actually bigger than the Civil 3D file size. And if we open this up, it looks a lot like that Civil 3D file we were just looking at. 
except it doesn't have any of the intelligence over here in the prospector. You can see under surfaces it doesn't lift, list any surfaces. So those are the two main examples I'm going to show in this video. There's also a more accurate example that I'll talk about later where you can actually publish the surface to BIM 360 and that's the most accurate option you can get. I've done a session with one of the Autodesk developers at Autodesk University 2019 you can go look up where you can see the profile of the curb and gutter and the crown in the road and ped ramps and vertical surfaces of retaining walls and loading docks. It's just an absolutely perfect surface. It's a representation of this civil 3D surface in Revit. And um, anyways, I'm not going to get too in the weeds on that right now. We'll focus on these two examples. So in Revit, I'm going to use the default template file because it's nice and simple. I'm going to make a new Revit file. So I'm going to name this Topo Solid Test Contours. Insert link CAD. We're going to start with the contour version of the file. We're not going to correct anything. And then the positioning is origin to internal origin. Notice that we are at level one and I'm going to click OK. So if I go to a south elevation view, one thing that's important to note is that level one is zero. You can think of this as a sea level. You should typically have a separate site file separate from the building where you maybe even have like, like Lake Plato does, a level that's actually called sea level. And then that's the view you're in in the project browser when you're placing the CAD file. So that means that all of these contours are at the correct elevation relative to level zero. We can look at this in 3D and then on the massing and site tab I'm going to select the topo solid drop down, create from import, create from CAD file, pick the CAD file, check nothing and remember that the contours were C, topo, major, and minor. And now we have our CAD file. If we go back to the plan, actually we we'll want to switch to the site plan in this case, and zoom in, you'll notice that the contours from the CAD file don't quite line up. And there's a little bit of a weird thing here, and this is actually good because it shows kind of how to work with different situations that might come up. Um, troubleshooting, if you will. So if I go back, I type the word plan and hit enter twice in Civil 3D to get back to the plan view. If I select this surface and right click, there's an option to go to surface properties. And normally this would have one foot and five foot contours. This is a little bit of a, a glitch in the sample file. It's an imperial sample file data set but somehow within this file it's set to one meter and five meter contours. So we're actually just gonna, to accommodate that, we're gonna fix that or make that adjustment in Revit. So if I go to project units and change the length from feet and inches to meters, and then I also select this topo solid, go to edit type, and then the contour display needs to be adjusted now. So one meter and five M for meters. Anytime in Revit, even if it's still set to feet and inches, you could type five M for a temporary dimension and it would make it five meters. It wouldn't remember that you typed five meters because it does an instant hard conversion to whatever that is in feet and inches. 
And then this actually is interesting. This is where the contours start at minus 30 meters, I guess. So we actually want to set both of these to zero. And this would be a way to adjust if your level was not zero that you link the CAD file into. Now we'll hit OK and OK. And now you can see the contours line up perfectly with the CAD file contours, or nearly perfectly. That That's pretty, pretty darn close. <laughs> so here's the contour from the CAD file, hit escape, and here's the contour from the Civil 3D surface. And this is not the most accurate option, like I said, because of the way we used contours only instead of the triangulated surface. But if you look at this in 3D and cut a section through it, you'll see that it's quite accurate. So we're going to close this file and start a new one and try the triangulated surface. This time I'll go straight to the site plan. So level one and site both are using level one as its associated level. So they're basically the same thing, just the cup plane is different. Before we create the topo solid, we need to know what layers the lines are on in the CAD file. So we could go back to Civil 3D and take a look at that, but we can also see that here in Revit. If we select the CAD file, there's a query command. And then I can pick on one of the lines and see that it's C, Tin, View. Now if I go to the Topo Solid, create from import, create from CAD, pick the CAD file, check none, C, Tin, View. Have a quick look at that in Civil 3D. Uh, Civil 3D and Revit have a slightly different algorithm in terms of how they make the triangulated surfaces, so the triangulations aren't going to be perfect, but they, again, are actually really close if you really start digging into it. If we go back to the plan view and try and look at the contours again, it's a little harder actually to see the contours here, so I'm going to do a quick switch switch out on the Manage tab, Manage Links. Now that we've created the surface from the CAD file, there's actually no link between the surface and the CAD file, which is also another benefit of the, the Publish to BIM 360 option. There actually is a, a linked connection that's very amazing. So here I just switched out with the CAD file, another CAD file, and they share the same origin, so it's already just automatically in the same spot. So you can see here's that, that area that we looked at before that was off quite a bit. So it's still, I have to make that adjustment for the one meter and, and changing the units, but notice this is the CAD file, and this is the Revit Topo Solid. I'm going to go to the Manage tab, Project Units, change the length to meters, select the Revit model or the Topo Solid, go to the Contour Display, 1 meter, 5 meter, and again resetting this to 0 so the contour start at 0. And now it's still not perfect, but you can see how the contour in this case actually starts to follow the contour from the CAD file. So you can instantly see that this is already more accurate. And there's lots of other little areas where there's dips and ridges between contours that, that might be happening. And so you should ask your civil for a triangulated surface whenever you can. And have it be at the correct origin and don't go into your civil CAD files and make any changes to it so that when they send you new ones you can more easily update the surface. 
So again, there's a there's another video I'll make in the future on how to publish a civil 3D surface to BIM 360. The civil team doesn't actually have to be using BIM 360. Obviously, they have to have access to it and the project. They need to be invited to the project to be able to publish to a BIM 360 or ACC project. And then the Revit folks have an insert command, this link topography command. Its only purpose is for this thing I'm talking about right now. And likewise, in Civil 3D, this idea of on the output tab, publish surfaces, its only purpose is to publish to Autodesk Docs or BIM 360 or ACC, a, a project that's been created. And that's a quick overview of how to get triangulated surfaces or a file based on contours at the correct elevation from Civil 3D into Revit and highlighting the fact that the triangulated surface is more accurate. Thanks for watching.